Okay, looks like we're doing an unboxing. Uh, I've just got this in the mail today from Hathorworks in Sydney, and I do believe this is going to be my copy of the Kickstarter edition of Hellboy. So let's have a look. Box looks like it's in pretty good condition. It's large, it hasn't been kicked around too much um, between the shipping and however they shipped it back over here, and then a bit of the air mail and a bit of the surface mail. Uh, there's a kind of a ding in the side of the corner of this box, but it seems like they've packed it pretty well, depending on how box. Ooh, look at that, straight there on the top. Now this is wave one, there's a second wave with all the extras, and this is the Kickstarter edition, so this box is about twice as big as the retail edition. So just pull that out, move it aside here. There we go. Get all these things out of the way. And, ooh, already looking interesting. I think that's the back of the box that I'm seeing there. Well, it was, now it's the side of the box. Let me get all this bubble wrap off of there. Whee. Oh, all right, first glimpse of the box and it's so full of stuff. As you can see, it's not even all the way, the lid isn't even all the way down in the box. And that is a big, hefty box. I'll go grab. So just for a bit of scale reference, here is zombie side next to it. So that's the average size of one of these big miniature game boxes. And this is this beast, absolutely a humongous box. But that's good because everything's contained in one box. I don't need 12 different boxes. Now let's get this shrink wrap off of here. Let's see what we've got. So far, nice matte finish with spot UV on the type. Now this is a really big box, as I've said like 12 times already. So one problem is always that it's hard to pull it off. But that's actually slipping off really easily. Pretty standard thickness, so probably for the size of it, I'd want it to be a little bit thicker. But it's all in really excellent condition, well crafted. And here we are inside. So here's a, now I don't remember anything about what's in this box, really, except for Hellboy stuff. So these are the character cards, the playable characters. This is a tutorial, because it is a rather complex game, so this looks like a bit of a walkthrough of a level. This is a rule book that looks just like a comic book. It's the exact size, it's very thick. So I'm gonna be playing this one for a while before I fully grasp it, I reckon. Some advertising for other things from Mantic Games. A few really, really nice art prints I'm now remembering were included in this one. A color one and a black and white one. Little Magnolia signature there, but not like it was done. It's just printed on, it's not a individually hand signed. Oh, well, that's interesting. Normally these sorts of trays are taped closed, but these ones, popping right open and oh my gosh look at all of these cards and these are the case files the case files are all sealed you're supposed to not look at them so we've got the case files more case, more case files they've included some bags which is a wonderful nice little thing that some companies will do just to help you out to store things i don't know what those are these are some bases Here's some standard, possibly American mini or European mini size cards. Here's, oh, I don't even, look at it, I don't even know where to start. This is just the first tray. All right, we'll put that back on there. Really nice quality so far. These trays, pretty good. I've, I've come across thicker ones of this black plastic, so I can see that getting a bit bent out, but it's holding up 
holding together really nicely as it is. All right, some foam core. Oh, don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not. Here are all the boards. There's actually a lot of boards. Let's have a look at those. Wait. Open it. So there's a small one, double-sided. And some of these feel like they might be punch boards, but I can't tell yet, so let's have a look. Double-sided, big boards. These are really nice quality. Yeah, so these are punch boards. That's a punch board, that's a punch board. That's a punch board. Tokens, looks like some doorways, some bookcases. Ooh, a tentacle. What dungeon isn't, is complete without a tentacle hanging out of the corner? That's the Doom Track, I think. And another one on the back. Very nice. So straight through there. And the next thing we see are some minis and such lovely, lovely minis. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them to look at here. Now these ones have been taped closed. I guess they just didn't bother with the cards. But to keep those minis in place, I've taped it closed, which is good. Because they're all where they should be instead of all over the place. Alien Visitor. Only showed up briefly in like a side story. Look at this jerk. Just, you know, you know what to call it quits. All right, and these are the player busts that you use as tracker tokens. So for those two different versions of Hecate, or Hecate, I don't know how to say Very nice. Really, really nice, nice quality miniatures so far. And most of these are playable characters, or this one's not, he's a, he's a bad guy. And look at that. From a little diorama with these two fighting. Boosh! Geez, that looks very, very nice though, doesn't it? Let's just focus on that. The minis are so far gorgeous. Really gorgeous minis. Oh, look at this guy. Iron boots. He was a stretch goal. Sure, if he, I think he's a Kickstarter exclusive. There's a couple exclusives. Monkey with a gun. Look at him. That's lovely. So, haven't had a look at every single one of those. Here's the, the standard Hellboy. This is the one everybody wants to play. Look, just really cool. We've got the movie coming up. I'm definitely going to want to get this game out and prep for that. All right, put that aside. Now, here's this one. This is this one. Maybe I'll go this one next because I can get to it. It's so deep. What's going on here? Something is sticking. Let's take this one. Ah, because there's some foam core in there. All right, more tape holding this one together. Uh, these are the big monsters, the big baddies. What's this one? The Death Grub extra dimensional cosmic being of ultimate horror that you can punch and kill. All right, so this one contains most of the, most of the main villains. So in the, in the base set of this, in the retail edition, I think it just comes with these two. And then these ones here are all extra and they're cool as there's a Saint something or other's dragon this gigantic cybernetic Nazi gorilla. So I'm gonna focus on him a bit better. Look at him. So much lovely, lovely, and that is a big miniature. Really, really, really nice. All right. Look, everybody's favorite witch, Baba Yaga, with her wooden legs. Off to cause trouble in the Land of Russian folklore. All right, and there's ten this is just tentacles coming up through the floor. So that's one of the monsters you have to fight. The tentacles from the floor. Really nice. Okay, we'll set that aside. Now this tray here looks like there's about two more trays. Here's all of your uh, what do you call it? 
smaller villains that come with the base set and some other things. There's some Kickstarter extras as well. So here's all the dice, and those actually are really nice. There's one of the things I was less excited about with this one, because all the images that we got shown early, they looked a bit, a bit dull, but the dice themselves are about as nice as dice can be. Shiny, smooth, well-balanced, a good size, 16 millimeters, I like them. Now, here are some swarms of frogs. To get a bunch of those. I'm not sure if those, I think those might be tokens in the game. And look at these. Another thing I wasn't overly excited about, but look at that, that's fire. As you know, it's a fire token. In the retail version, I think that's just a cardboard token, still cool. And here's all of our, so that's half a frog. So that's a, a normal human, halfway to being a frog. Who looks a bit more like, here's a full frog. I still got some clothes on. Just, you know, caused oodles of problems for Hellboy and the BPRD. And here's some cool tokens. Look at that. There's the Fist of Doom. It's just a tracking token. So these are nice. In the base game, or the retail edition, these are represented by tokens, but in the Kickstarter edition, we get these cool points of interest. So these are things you put out on the map that you're then able to investigate, like this Nazi corpse. Just a little bit of extra that makes your tummy feel warm. What's this? Little tiny discs with the BPRD symbol on them. Another some form of tracker. I like it. There's a bunch of those. You have to be careful not to lose those ones. All right, I think this might be the last, no, there's another one, gee whiz. All right, so this one looks like it's mostly extras. So there's a couple of expansions for this game that will be available in retail, and two of them are in this box. So one of them is um, something of doom, seed of destruction, uh, which comes with a bunch of Nazis who are, Cool, and also I'm told well, that gluing is not the best. What are you doing, Nazi? Somebody, let's see if they're all like that. Hmm, it's all right. Here's one that doesn't have so many pieces. There you go, that's better. This one's not a Nazi, it's an evil turkey. That was a Kickstarter extra from the Hellboy in Mexico. Which is another expansion that's not as... Uh, here's one of the, my favorite playable characters. Uh, Roger the Homunculus. It's a man who's been created by an alchemist. Um, and he's cool. Crab... Crab Johnson? What is his name? Lots of Nazis here. Just... Got their little machine guns and their gas masks. They're cool, and they cause a lot of problems. And a few more busts. So there's uh, Lobster Johnson, and there's Roger the homun Homunculus. So you can track their score. I don't know what those are for. They're, they're tracking something on the game other than what's in the actual game board. And here's the last one. Now this is the second expansion that comes in, the, in this box, but in the retail edition is sold separately. Uh, what's it called? It's um, case BPRD case files or something like that. But basically these are just a mishmash of extra monsters and you can use them to sort of create your own adventures. So there's some werewolves. Actually not too bad as werewolves go. They're a hard one to do. Yeah, just have a nice owl. Here is a giant evil bird. Put him next to the werewolf for scale. He's not a normal size. Here's a normal wolf to even give you an even better sense of scale. So imagine that's what a wolf is like. And it's a big giant bird, so that's a big bird. Here's a swarm of bats. Very nice. Here is a witch. And what collection of monsters are complete? 
without some harpies. And there you have it. That's everything in the box. I'm excited to start playing this one. Um, if you wanna see all the cards, put a post in the comments and um, I can flip through them. But there's a lot of them there and I'll make this video a bit longer than it needs to be if I start flipping through all of that. But she was just tons of miniatures, which I'm loving. Really nice quality components. These boards are looking great. Everything's fitting in the box. Not so well. <laughs> Pretty well, lots of well, I don't know. How do I get this back in there? I'll figure it out later. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, give me a like, give me a follow if you uh, like what you see and want to see more. And that's the Kickstarter edition of the Hellboy board game. Now, if you really, 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 really must have this, I bet if you look on eBay, you can find a copy for some ridiculous amount of money. Otherwise, wait for the retail edition. It's pretty darn awesome, and it will cost you less, and it will be worth getting. Thank you very much.